well, digital technologies have profoundly changed the creation of art. And I think one of the basic distinctions one has to make here is the use of these technologies as a tool for the uh, creation of a traditional art object, such as a painting or a photograph uh, or a sculpture, for example, and their use as a medium. And that is where certain characteristics come in that have changed the creation of art. And among those characteristics, the list is not inclusive, would be uh, computability. Um, first and foremost, all of these um, works and their process is computable and subject to algorithms. Um, they can be um, hyper-connected, you know, hyper-linked. They are non-linear uh, works. They are process-oriented and dynamic. Um, there is also the possibility of real-time telematic connection, connecting different um, places and having an artwork processed in real-time. Uh, they are also generative very often. That is, an algorithm is set in motion and uh, the artwork, whatever it is, is generatively created on the basis of it. Uh, they are also highly uh, modular. So a lot of artworks use different modules of digital technologies. So all of these characteristics uh, have profoundly influenced the creation of art. So artworks still take very different forms if they're using digital technologies. For example, they can be um, virtual reality or augmented reality works where you have a whole image world that is artificially created around you and in which you are immersed which, which, uh, with, let's say, a data glove or a head-mounted display. So there is a whole new image world being created. When it comes to more traditional forms, such as film video, for example, um, we're seeing a lot of experimentation in the field of interactive cinema, for example, that can be uh, assembled through user interaction on the fly, or mashup culture, the constant you know, real-time montaging or collaging of imagery. There's also a lot of uh, generative software art where the visual is created through sets of algorithms that are drawn out on um, the screen. So here you already have two ra or three radically different examples of how the visual image is affected by digital technologies. It's a very interesting time because we're experiencing a clash between the old system of um, finite object or of the authentic um, art object but all of these notions are really challenged by digital technologies. What is the final work? Perhaps that whole notion flies out of the window if it's um, a process of creation. In a generative um, artwork, that is certainly true. It's an algorithm set in motion by an artist, and this artwork may never repeat itself. Um, if you do, for example, an algorithmically uh, driven image collage, what is the authoritative version here? It doesn't exist, ultimately. And that is something that is very hard to grasp for the art market, for the industry. Um, both of them very often try to impose artificial systems on this creation in order to monetize it. But ultimately, uh, you, can't sub you can't force the technologies themselves into a little box they are resisting this because they make this constant change and this modular, generative, process-oriented production possible. So it will be very, very um, hard to find um, systems in which to um, address these questions. I think some uh, sectors of mainstream culture and entertainment really have to reinvent and reconsider themselves. Uh, and. I think the um, movie industry has been more successful in doing that and um, finding uh, varied models, you know, from the mainstream to the alternative to uh, balance out systems. The music industry has been very problematic for a long time, uh, I think, in general, with um, artists very often having the feeling of being ripped off by labels and by the industry itself. And digital technologies, of course, gave them perfect alternatives 
to the existing industry, going solo, avoiding the distribution models of the market itself. So I think part of it has to be the music industry uh, reconsidering and rethinking itself and developing new models for working with artists, uh, really. And the art world is equally, I would think, in quite a crisis when it comes to um, adapting to what is uh, possible with uh, digital technologies. Because again, works um, that have been created for the internet, for example, and are distributed there, they don't need the traditional art world anymore. And I think a lot um, of people are exposed to art today without even necessarily knowing that it is art, you know, seeing it and experiencing it on the internet. Um, monetarily, that's a little bit more problematic for the artist, not being part of the uh, traditional market, which really doesn't accommodate 